Hey, that is not the look that I was going for. This is all wrong. Ricky, that's exactly what you told me to do. No, it's not, Mary. I distinctly remember what I told you to do, and this is all wrong. But this is how your hair responds to this style. Mary, I said it was wrong. It's wrong. And I said it's right. It's wrong. It's right. Everyone has had a haircut they didn't like, but today my guests have the chance to say, cancel my appointment when hairdressers and their clients face off. <laughs> has had a bad hair day, right? Yes. Am I having one today? No. Thank you. But today, some of my guests want to confront someone they say is a bad hairdresser. And we also have hairdressers who would rather wrap their fingers around their client's neck than curl their hair. Meet Janice. Janice says she walked into her hairstylist with a full head of hair, and a few days later, she said it was falling out in clumps. Janice, what happened? Um, Carla, she had bleached my hair, and... For one, you, African Americans is not supposed to be blonde with blonde hair. For one. Um, then what's that blonde patch on the top of your head? Well, this is spray. <laughs> this is spray. It's okay, the spray. Oh, it's spray. Temporary, okay. but it's right. not permanent blonde. All right. It's, it's, that's okay. All right. So that's okay. So Janice says that's okay. Okay. For temporary, not permanent. So tell me, what? It, why did you have Carla do your hair blonde? Because, I mean, well, she put it in streaks, and I thought it was okay. But then I was going to school, and I learned that it wasn't healthy, and she didn't tell me how to maintain my hair. So, okay, so you're upset with her because she didn't tell you how to take care of your hair? Yes. I, I understand you also feel like she has a bad attitude. Exactly. Tell me, what's wrong with her attitude? Um, it's like when I go in here, she have a bad attitude. It's like, I'm, I feel like this, if I'm paying you my money, you will want to have a smile on your face. You shouldn't have an attitude. And it's like when I come in here, she either have nine people with the same appointment. I'm there all day. I have things to do. I don't want to be in a shop. And I don't think nobody wants to be in a hair shop all day. The purpose of you getting your hair done is for you to look nice and probably go somewhere and you don't want so to you didn't go to her to get your hair to fall out in clumps, did exactly. you? Exactly. No. So you want to confront her today? Exactly. Well, she is in our isolation booth and has no idea who brought her here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Carla to the show. <laughs> Hi, Carla. Nice to see you. Hi. Do you recognize the woman sitting next yeah, to you? that's Janice. Well, she brought you here today because she doesn't like your attitude. Okay. And she thinks you're a bad hairdresser. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of that? Well, she's entitled to her opinion. Let me say something for one. I don't think she's a bad hairdresser. I'm mean, Carla, let me, I'm just not trying to... Carla, she can do hair, but it's just that her attitude, and like I said, when she put that bleach in my hair, my hair came out. But she do know she do whip my hair up when I do get out. If it's hours um, later, but... After maybe how many people, though? Okay, no, what you do is okay. you have nine people with the same appointment. I don't feel that's right. But those are my regulars, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, but they still, come... but why would you have me with an appointment but, but they're your regular? You should tell me to like, come at but, a different but, time. But, the, but it's no time. You have to come when it's available, and I roll them in and roll them out. It ain't like you sit there. It ain't like you sit there for a long time without... You walk in the door, you get put under the dryer. It's, it's not like okay, that, Okay, let me ask can I ask you something about that? Why do sure. you like to mold it and put under the dryer? Because if I, that's if I'm my method you, of hairdo. Okay, can I say something? That's my method if of I'm hairdo. If I'm paying you, if I don't want to be under the dryer, if I want to be blow dry, if somebody paying you, then you should do what the customer okay, wants. Okay, but listen, regardless, when you come in, you in line right there. Whether I blow dry you or not, you're going to sit there with some water on your head, and you're going to get blow dry on your number when you came in. I just, you ain't going to walk in unless you finna tip me $20, $40 to get you in and out. It just ain't going to happen, guys. It's just not going to happen. And you know this. You know what I'm but saying? Carla, you Carla, you are providing a service, and do you think you're giving the best service when you're serving nine people at once? Trust me. 
top of this. Hair salon, we on the map. Trust me, and I put it there. And I know this, and you know this. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, when I get a haircut, I want let the hairdresser's undivided okay, attention. It's a thousand shops in Oakland, San Angelo, Hayward. I'm not saying that she's the bomb. And I mean, it's like everybody, I mean, it don't take much skills to put some waves and do a French curl in this But mat. I never did I mean, no waves on you. Never. All right. I mean, yes, ma'am, what do you have to say? First of all, you're contradicting yourself because you came out here and you said that when you went to hairdresser schools, you found out that blonde was bad for your hair. If you knew in the beginning that African Americans shouldn't get blonde hair, you shouldn't have went to her and asked for no blonde hair. And okay, second of all, second of all, you bar one, second of all, no, I'm talking though, I'm talking. You don't interrupt me though. Now. You don't interrupt me though. You just of all, you said that she can't do hair. Then you turned right back around and said that she, that she could do, do hair. hair. Then you said she was all right. I said when she put that what, what is she? Hair, can she, she do hair or not? Maintain my hair. Well, I notice. I, I do. Wait, am I blonde she or do down. I notice okay. that Next. she has blonde hair and it's not falling out of her head? Next. Her hair, and her hair is Next. not falling out. It's a shortcut, and I think it look kind of cute. But if you got blonde hair, you got blonde spray or whatever. You must like blonde. Exactly. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I want to know, why do you keep going to her if you're not so upset? If okay. she's not, if your I hair not go to like her no more. When she put that bleach in my hair in May, I never returned back. Tell me, what went through your mind when hair was falling out of your head? Um, I was pissed off. I mean, listen, her, your hair you did not fall. Said. No, you your did hair not see did my not. Hair. But I'm just saying, Janice, my hair. all you had to do no, was you felt, you if did you not see felt my hair that then. your hair was falling out, why you didn't call me like a woman and tell me that your hair was falling out? A woman, okay. you know what I'm saying? Because okay, I would have fixed point. it. Good point. That was the, okay, how would you point. fix it? I would have fixed it. She said her hair, but for number one, I'm three stages. My hair has not fell out. If anything, she was coming to me after I put the bleach in her hair. I'm gonna stop. But she was coming to me after I put the, the bleach in her right. hair, which it was not bleach, it was tint. It was honey okay. blonde. Have okay. you, have you had any other complaints from no, people? No, never. 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 This is the first and complaint. Number two, number two. Actually, she wanted to come work in my salon, and I didn't let her, because a nail, she wanted to come do nails, I didn't let her, so I don't know what the real problem is, but it could not be because of her hair, because her hair was whipped every time she left, she paid me every time she left, she do, does nails, I paid her to do All my right. feet. All right, oh. yes ma'am. Can, can I ask you something please, did sure. you have something else in your hair before you go to her? Okay. Some other chemical? Excuse me? Some other chemical. Did you have that in your hair before you ever go to your hairdresser? I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. Did you have a chemical in your hair before you went to her that caused your hair to fall out? Like two chemical get together. Wait, so do you think you know why the hair fell out? I'm oh, you are. Okay. Watch it. If once you go to the hairdresser, her hair fell out when the um, hairdresser put the um, bleach in the hair, something has to be there before. So it's not Carla's fault. Her fault. Something has to be like that. All right. Okay. How many of you would still go to Carla for a haircut? You would. Okay. We come back. A hairstylist confronts not one, but two of his rudest clients. Can't wait. We'll be right back after this. into a hair salon for a perm and I walked out and I looked like a poodle. I brought a, a picture to a hairdresser exactly how I wanted my hair. I came out with a hairstyle this short, like a crew cut, like a man's crew cut, and long hair on the sides. It was disgusting. You go for a trim, they cut it all off. You go for a perm, you frizzed out. You just can't win. with my hair today. Well, we have just seen how difficult a rude client can make a hairstylist's life, but what if you're not the only 
if you not only had one rude client, but you had two. Meet Brad. Brad says between his two clients, he has lost money and his social life. Brad, let's start with Katrina. What's, what sort of things has she done to ruin your social life? Well, uh, she books an appointment a month ahead of time. And I like to do that, you know, because it's money in the bank for me. But sometimes, you know, I just have to get up and go, go out of town, get away, have a social life because I work 12 hours a day sometimes. You know, I want to have time for me. Um, so wait, so you so cancel I, appointments I, on I, I had to call her and cancel, you know, went to Key West for the weekend. And she was real upset. She said she had a, a wedding to go to. She had a wedding to go to, but that and would make, I mean, I'll tell you something. If I had made an appointment with you and I had to get my hair I done offered, for a I wedding. Offered, I offered for her to come over to my house and do it. You know, I knew before I left, you know. Well, that's not cool, huh? Not proper hairdresser's etiquette. Well, Should we meet Katrina and talk to her? Yeah. Katrina, come on out here. Katrina, Brad says you are one of the rudest clients he has ever met. I don't think I'm at all rude. You don't? No, I don't. Well, as far as, you know... I do have a life outside of work, too. Yes, but you knew I had to have... I had to be at a wedding. I looked like crap for this wedding. Look at this. Look at my hair right now. She hadn't been to me in a while. It's, it's been about a month. Look at my hair right now. You need this, to come see me. This morning, no, no. This morning you said that you would do my hair for the show. Look at my hair. Does it look like it's been done? I haven't. I, I don't think socialize. so. No, wait. Is it true, Katrina, that you've bounced checks to Brad? No, no. This yes. is. It was a second party check that I had someone else write for him that day, and I and I told him I explained it to him, and he told me to get my butt over there and, and pay him for that that day. And I was like... I don't like bounce checks. There's also another client that you think is rude. Yeah. That would be Donald. Tell me. Tell me about Donald. Oh. Uh, he brings his girlfriend, his mom, and just comes in the salon, like, all, you know, just pops in and expects me to do his whole family, just like that, you know. <laughs> no appointment. No appointment whatsoever. Never makes an appointment. Once it, every two or three days, he wants me to shampoo his hair. I'll probably tell y'all why later. Um... <laughs> Should we just meet Donald and talk to him? Let's see what his complaints are. Donald, come on out here. <laughs> Donald, is it true that you want your hair done, your mother's hair done, and your girlfriend's hair done all at the same time without an appointment? Sometimes. <laughs> but so, I help him. How do you help him? I take appointments for him. I, um, uh, I, I have my own shop, uh, and I don't have a receptionist because it's just me working there. I can't find another hairstylist. So I always, if the, if the phone rings, I have my clients answer and just say, you know, salon 2000 and uh, make the appointment. You know, it's not hard. I'll, right. And I'll check it, you know, at the end of the day. I'll make sure that the appointments were made correctly. Uh, you know, he screws that up, too. I mean... And what's this uh, with his hair? Don't do that. It's a hair unit. Don't do it. Because he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. I do it. He doesn't do this. I do it. It's, you do it. So what do you need done? Uh, all I need is it trimmed. Because oh, I, well, I did hair for 14 years. And you say you have a problem with Brad because he comes in hungover all the time? Because, um, uh... Not hungover. I, you know, I have a social life, and I well, I go out sometimes. Life. Quite an active yeah, one. Key West and vodka. cancel appointments. <laughs> vodka is not a social life. So yeah, well, I mean, is it, he must be cheap or something. Why do you go to him? Well, he does have good deals. He does have good deals, and when he does it, I get a lot of compliments on my hair. It's just getting it done. Let me ask you, how much to trim the sides for Donald? Twenty-two dollars. How much? Twenty-two dollars. Twenty-two dollars. <laughs> But I, I, I blend Damn, it Damn, Supercuts is better than that. Coming up next, the hairstylist tells his client, just because you're in the family doesn't mean you get to act like you're a cut above everyone else. Don't go away. We'll be right back.
of people get disastrous haircuts when they go into a beauty shop because of lack of communication. People go in there with a vision of what they will look like, and they really have no idea what they're talking about. When it's really bad, then I think the person that cut their hair probably has no clue what they're talking about and probably shouldn't be in that field. Uh, if you don't tell the hairdresser what you want exactly, you just leave it up to them and their skill, um, you'll probably end up with this. combine family with business because you often end up regretting it. Well, my next guest, Stefan, says that goes double for him. He says his god sister has done nothing but take advantage of him because he is a hairdresser. He says she has done everything wrong from showing up late to bringing four girlfriends to get their hair done. He says he has had it and won't take it anymore. Tell me, what are the problems, Stefan? I just had it with her, Ricky. You've had it? it. I've had it. What's she, it, what she been doing? It comes to a point where... <clears throat> She calls me. <laughs> she, she calls me. She, she don't make an appointment. What? She don't make an appointment, first of all. OK? But she'll call me and say, can she come in? I say, sure, come on in. You know what I mean? Because I'm doing hair, but I love her. You know, that's my sister. So I say, well, come on in. So she, I say, come in in 15, 20 minutes. She come in an hour, two hours later. Mm -hmm. And then she'll come by herself. She brings a girlfriend. And she expects her girlfriend to get her hair t done, too. So I say, well, Shay, um, your girlfriend can get her hair done. I got clients here, too, you know. I said, I'm just squeezing you in. She said, um, she, we going out tonight. I said, well, that's nice and all, but your girlfriend's not getting her hair done. So, <laughs> so What about, she bought four girls one time? She bought four girls. She bring more than that. And the thing about it is she got her girlfriends calling me at home, you know what I mean, for their hair to be done. I don't know how they get my number or nothing, but they'll call me requesting that their hair be done on my day off. So it's time. But you think she'd be trying to help you because she's getting she's you not, more work. She makes me lose money sometimes because she intimidates my customers. How does she do that? Because she, um, everybody knows she, how close we are. Everybody sees us out because we hang out a lot together, you know what I mean? And it's like when she come in, she's so bossy, you know what I mean? She'll come in, she says, I want my hair done next, you know? And it might be a client sitting Should there. we meet her now? Let's meet the boss woman, shall we? <laughs> Shay, come on out here. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> she wants to slug you right now. Shay, what do you have to say? Well, first he's had of it. All, first of all, I want to say this. If I'm helping you clean up my hair after you do my hair. Clean up your hair? Yes. How you going? Excuse me, but if you go to the hairdresser, if you're paying somebody, well, excuse She'll me. She'll pay okay. me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 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 Excuse me. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You had your time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, boot, though. Okay? If I'm cleaning up my own hair and washing my hair, I don't have to pay. Why am I paying? Ricky Lake. You know, Ricky, you, if you came it? to his shop, you wouldn't this. be washing Ricky, your own hair. hair. You wouldn't salon. be, you she wouldn't be cleaning up your own hair. hair. Right. I Stephon? washed her hair, put her under the, con the dryer, because you know I conditioned her hair right, okay? I go to finish another client's, wrap another client's hair to put her under Shay's dryer so I can go wash Shay out. She across the street at the pizza party eating pizza. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the problem, Ricky? I got to say, your hair looks nice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much. But he says he's had it. He's not doing your hair anymore. Oh, that's And I'm okay. not. I mean, I love you. You know, we're going to always be close. Uh -huh. you, know, I, you know you're here. <laughs> you know what I mean? We had Thanksgiving together. My birthday was the day before Thanksgiving. But um, <laughs> I'd rather for you just to go to somebody else, because that's going to ruin our friendship. Is that you know a shocker I mean? for you, Shay? Uh, well, not actually, because I've already been doing, going to somebody else. How you doing? Okay. Oh, and, How you doing? oh, and I do I believe we have that yeah. hairdresser here. Hello. David, come on out here. David. Oh, okay. This is my friend, Ricky. This is one of my closer friends. That David. <laughs> well, let me say, David. David, you do a nice job because your hair looks awfully nice today. I did that right. though. I did that last night <laughs> and cut it. But David, you, what do you have to say? But you, you know what, Stevie? Sometimes you do intimidate your customers because they come back and tell me that you do. You know the way the tone of his voice and the way he hey. like. I mean, you may think that you like saying, "Well, Shay, don't um, 
don't go to don't the pizza, pizza store or don't. It's the way you say it. You heard him. You heard the film. He had his attitude. Okay, his all attitude. Attitude. All the yes, yes, they do. <laughs> We're talking about hair here. <laughs> she don't even pay me no money. Does she pay you? Yeah, she pay pays me. She pays me. Only for only, only, only. We want to know what those other only, services I are. Hair. Only, I can get my hair. I get my money to go out sometimes. You know, okay. after I do her hair, she don't even give this me. This is what I'm Okay, wait a minute. One at a time, guys. One at a time. One at a time. Saying, yes, Jay. Okay. Yes. Because I'm his sister. You know what I mean? He like. Like you wouldn't come to his, sh you wouldn't come to his shop, and he wouldn't ask you to sweep up your own hair when you're done. He wouldn't ask you to go shampoo yourself and and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So being as though I'm his sister, he feels like I got that extra advantage over her. She'll do this because I'm, you know, you know what I mean? Sure, I do that. So just but like you take advantage of me, I might take advantage of you. All right, hang on, hang on. I want to take this guy's comment. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Um, the question I have for you, young lady. Um, you must have no respect for this brother because business Hello. is business. And if you, think, if you think a friendly thing is going to pay the rent, you're wrong. Hello. Okay, that's right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. You're saying business is business, but I overheard you, sir. I overheard you when she walked out. You said, I do her hair any day. <laughs> what about business is business? That's not my line of work, though. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks, thanks. Yes. Come on over here. What do you want to say? Hi, Ricky. I feel that the problem is you have to learn to separate friendship from business. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, because money causes a lot of enemies, and I think that's what it is. But, but you know what? I don't want to like get in between me and Steve because me and him have been friends for a long time. But the only problem that I do have with you is when you come in late, you do come in late. And then once she comes What's in... What's up with that? Okay, wait a minute now. How but listen, know, listen, how listen, listen, listen. listen. Late when he walking in the door with me? No, 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 no from lunch, Hello. from lunch, from Hello. lunch. Okay. And then... That's her and, attitude. And then... That's and then we, her attitude we, with we, me. And then he, he uses the hair dryer as like, you know, he wants to go eat lunch, so he's going to stick you on the hair dryer for 45 minutes and come back <laughs> and ask once you dry. No, I said, no, I was dry while you eating that sandwich, though. But you do the same thing, Shay. All right. Let me take a comment. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Have any of y'all heard of the client relationship? She don't yeah, know. If y'all ain't got none of that, then all y'all need to move on. So, the customer is always right. That's right. Move on. All right. We're going to move on out of this segment. Coming up next, a client wants to confront her hairstylist who says she must have taken the shortcut when it came to beauty school. We'll be right back after this. Don't go away. industry for eight years and people expect miracles. In America the hairdresser is looked down um, compared to Europe where it's a little bit looked up more. It's more of a profession. I'm a musician, not a musician. People expect you to be like, you know, give them something that they just can't have. you have a comment to make yes my comment is for um donald um he just he pays 22 dollars to get his hair trimmed he should just save that money and go out no, and buy the floby I... oh the floby the floby sure it's, it's a unit it's not it's, it's a, a way unit. unit and, and, and you just to... spend that money on the floby so you have the floby are you happy with your floby no nah, I, don't, I don't have it i don't have it all right thank but you i did this profession for 14 years you did what profession hair, hair I was stylist a master barber stylist i was a cutter stylist only in chattanooga i was the highest paid in chattanooga that i got don't 45 matter, i got 45 dollars for this these but, people uh, right uh, here, uh, I was replaced, okay? Let me because say something. Because I was so arrogant that I 
said, I'll take you when I want you, I'll take you when I want you, you I don't want. Finally, I said, you know, I, I, I retired. So why don't you so do there's your a time, okay, there's let a time me, let me for people this. to retire when they get tired of the business and tired of their customers because we are And you think servants. Brad should retire? We are public servants. No, we're not public servants. Oh. Yes, we are. No, we're yes, not. We are. Well, you'll be replaced. You'll be you sitting in the food line. I will be replaced. I mean, you I are. Wait, gang. Oh, gang. You are providing a service. I know. I had to go to college to learn how to do hair. You don't just do hair. I didn't go down to school. It's not a hobby. We do this because we went to school to learn how to do this. That's why you're paying. Why you're paying for twenty-two dollars? All right, hang on. Yes, sir. I have a question for. Janice, you said that, that your hair fell out, right? Excuse me? You said that your hair fell out? Yes. Take her to people's court and sue her. You, no. Well, I think people's that. court is off the air, sir. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to my sister. But then where did all that hair on but, your head come she, from? Ow. She's got a lot of hair. Hi, um, this is for Brad. Brad, yeah. If you're not a public service, then what do you consider yourself? Public servant, and I'm not a public servant. I'm a cosmetologist. Licensed cosmetologist. But you, you, you are providing a service for customers. I provide a service, but now I, I don't want to be called a public service. You're an artist. I'm an artist. You are a public servant. I'm a licensed what? professional cosmetologist. Yes, look at you in your color sweater. What do you have to say? You're the lady in the middle? No. Shay or Janice? Shay. Shay, you said that you didn't pay him with money. Oh, she you... paid me with money? You talking about me? No, no, she said she paid you by rendering other services. Okay, this is my, I'm talking about my brother. I don't, you, but you do pay She don't pay David. me. She, pay me. You, she don't pay right, me. Every, she pay me. How much she does she pay, pay you, David? I, it depends I work she at a hair salon. And she should, see, at my hair salon, you have to, family have to pay at least 10%. She walks out the door. So I end up having to go in my pocket. My I pick my but she pays me. You she don't pick me. Shay, when do you swept up my floor? <laughs> I don't Last night at the house. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Last night at the salon, Wait, hang on. The Let's can we hear from somebody else for a minute? Yes, sir. I think it's apparent to me that everyone up there except for Shay is content with the service that you're getting. Else you'll go elsewhere. Um, you pay for what you you get what you pay for, and if you're not paying nothing, there's your answer there. Thank you, sir. We need to take a break. Before we come back, don't go away. friend or family member but they hated the person you wanted them to go out with and now they're angry with you? If you tried to play Cupid but it backfired on you, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY. You must be 18 or older to call. A touchy subject, isn't it? I wish I had some help around here. Who's there? Come in. Oh, it's Jose Bear. Hi, Jose. Here? Yeah, have a seat. You're sitting on the throne. Oh, okay. Jose, nice to see you here. Nice to see you, Ricky. Nice to have you back. Do you have some advice for our guests? No, I'm shocked by the lack of, I mean, respect that they all have amongst each other. I mean, I've not experienced this, and I've been in this business 30 years. I mean, obviously, you have to pay your dues. I believe that the client is always right, even when you don't always agree with them, when at least you make her believe that she's always right. And oh, I noticed you say not, she. Of, I mean, I mean, not, but there's a way. I mean, are they paying for a service? And I mean, I've been in this. But what business. if you don't know? You know what I'm saying? If they don't come and tell you, but about they have the to problems, tell. You, but you guys have a lot you know, of. Lot they got to bring you way across the world to get on TV to tell you what. 
No, I ain't even understanding that. And then I also have to say, guys, one at a time, one at a time, guys. Better friends than we are. And it still doesn't work. Close friends, you know what I mean? But it's just when we go to the hair salon, when she need her hair done, we hang out. We both are single, so we swing. You know what I mean? So when we hang out, it's always. It's all good. I mean, let me just ask Jose. Do you ever do your family's hair? Oh, we do, of course we do. I mean, I stay after hours. I mean, I pay my dues every single day, still 30 years later. My family comes after hours. I, some, once a week, we do like... Do you charge them? No, we don't. Of uh, course not. Okay. I wouldn't dare right. charge my family. Thank you. No Thank way. You. I, might say I, might, I might not pay him, but if he calls me and asks me to do him a favor, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it for him. And you know I never what I'm saying? Did, so I, don't, I might not pay him with money, but did. I pay him in other ways. Did. You know what I'm but saying? But you come to the salon, that's not, I don't own that salon. I work for somebody. We do a lot of classes, you know, you like, usually most of salons I do a training and this is when family member comes in and you just like train on themselves, you create new looks on your family members, so you get something out of your family actually. Would you ever there. cancel on somebody that had a wedding to be in the next no, day? No, I would cancel my vacation and I still do to this day in order to be there for my parents. I do. Where you want to be in this profession obviously when you want to be very successful when you want to make it very big and do very well you have to do a lot of sacrifice so what is your secret sacrificing oh you sacrifice a lot i mean we're like doctors we raise women's self-esteem we have to be there they need us when they need us you like my hair jose i love your hair yeah okay i, I do like love it longer. all right oh you, you like it longer well, i love it longer well who asked you, you? <laughs> <laughs> all right yes sir this is for the hairstylist don't y'all think that when people go to you guys you have to like consider them and, and learn to accept criticism to make you a better... I mean, criticism exactly. don't even have anything to do with it. I mean, we I talking about, like, for Shay, for instance. Like, she, we, have, we have a sign up in our salon that says no checks. And then after Shay get her hair done, she pull out a check and <laughs> she knows that we don't accept yeah, it. Yeah, Brad but, should learn from that mistake far. and not accept checks either. I feel but, that they should respect us too, you know, exactly. because we be at work from 8 in the morning to robots. who knows right. what time That's on right. our feet. We don't eat, we work, we slave right. to make them That's look right. good. Right. And I feel, you know, but but we All should get some respect too. It's like you, you don't have no feelings for us. You don't have no feelings for us. You know, it's like, he'll just do my hair, make me beautiful, which you might not be in. Anyway, you know, so come in with very unrealistic expectations? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. We all do. We all do, but there's a way, again, when you decide to be diplomatic of explaining to them they're totally wrong, and you give them another ID, and hopefully... Right. No, but you do it in a diplomatic right. way. I mean, I've constantly, somebody wants to look like Claudia Schaefer, and she doesn't have this kind of hair or this kind of face or this yep. kind of butt. Exactly. You explain to them, I mean... I what say, do you say to them? I'll you're say, fat, you know, it, I like it on her, it looks great, but I have something better for you because you don't have the same okay. kind of hair, and let me create something different. I see. It's your own individual look. I don't see. try right. to be like Cute hair, what do you want to say, ma'am? Okay. I run into some trouble with hairdressers, and I want to know what a uh, nice way to say to them, you know? Like, I don't like it. Like, because I always just like, oh, I love it, and I walk out. Exactly. You gotta change it. We respect that. I ain't even here you change this. Should you bring Should you bring a picture to the salon and show? I'm not against picture because the pictures are saying a thousand words. It gives me an idea what the client more or less wishes or hope to look like. I see. I don't going to agree with the picture many times, but at least it gives me an idea. Okay. That's the way it works. Yes, ma'am. What do you have to say? I think for Stefan and his sister, like, they don't respect each other. Like, she doesn't respect his job and... You know, it's like, how do I don't you... want to respect her, though? Well, it seems like you kind of take advantage, and you kind of do have a little bit of an attitude. I don't mean it against you, but... Okay. And um, she seems like if she's saying that she's just cleaning up and that should pay enough, it's not really fair. You should she be don't closer clean than up. that. She don't clean related. up. Because you're related. When I do hair at home, she do. When I do hair at home, she'll clean up. Because I when I do out. it in my kitchen... When I'm in the shop, I, I help the out shop, when you need me to help like, out. He gets on me because she know, he knows that she's supposed to pay at least 10%. And if it's a chemical, she got to pay something. You know what I mean? But she will come in there and then run out. And then he'll say, does she pay? And I'll say, yeah, and I have to take the money out of my pocket. You know what I mean? That's okay. Oh, but that's, that's not, not right. Okay. Need to take a break. We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere.
Dante, I gotta say, you were terrific in the last segment. We have one more story for you to get your advice for, okay? I hope. Yeah. All right, meet Jules. Jules says her first visit to her new stylist almost ruined her hair for good. Jules, what happened? Oh, I just finished working an 11 hour shift graveyard and I thought, God, I just want a haircut. So I found some place local, thought, why not? And I went in and said, I want an inch and a half off. I'm thinking of going blonder, see what you can do. After she took the four inches off that took me up to my earlobes, I just about cried. Did you cry? Oh, God, not till I got home. So she ruined your hair for good. <laughs> no, I let her do me blonde thinking, well, maybe that will help. And in so you went back to her a second time? No, it was all in the same day. I see. In the process of doing me blonder like I need it, she bleached out the whole collar of the shirt I was wearing and ruined it. And I'm going, you little bitch, what are you doing? I was so pissed, so pissed. I just went home and bawled and bawled. Well, let's meet this hairdresser, shall we? Cleo, come on out here. <laughs> She called you the B word. She says that you ruined her hair for good. That's exactly wrong. She asked me to bleach her hair. She asked me to cut her hair, and she says, "Go for it. Do what you want." And that's what I did. Uh, no, no, no. Jose, what do you did, see? Uh, did you spend enough time uh, prior to the, the processing in and the cutting? In my shop, when people come in my shop, they come through the door, and I sit them down and I talk to them first, get comfortable because I'd never seen her before. I got the color chart out. In fact, I remember now, I haven't seen her for six months. When she left the shop, she never told me that she didn't like it. She never said one word until I found out today who it was. I didn't even, I couldn't remember her name. So seeing her six months later, how's her hair look? Oh, wow. Hey, uh, not much better. I can't find anybody I like. Her, uh, 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 she didn't know what, she didn't know what she Well, wanted. you got the no. best sitting no. right next to you. No, no, no. Exactly what are your expectations? What, what are your expectations? What do you want to look like? I've Let's been trying to grow it out. That's but why your, I just but wanted But your hair's baby, your hair's baby fine. Yeah. Already you shouldn't have long hair. You know that, right? Why long hair? Wait, wait, why shouldn't she have long hair? Because her hair's... Because what? I mean, I just described, I mean, I'm touching your hair right now, your hair's quite fine. My theory about fine hair, you shouldn't have it past, past uh, the, the collarbone here. I mean, that's the way I feel. I mean, she obviously, her well, dream is to have it long to hair. she me off. I'd have been down to there by now. No. But she just explained to us, maybe, I mean, obviously you're overreacting. Uh, maybe she I was, use, maybe you told her. Trim. I use a comb that has inches on it. And I asked her specifically what she wanted, and she said, I don't know. I said, well, let's do mm -hmm. this, and she said, okay. Mm -hmm. Jose, what's your... I have your... a tendency of me believing her a little bit more, the hairdresser in yeah. this case. Yeah. No, I do. Because, I mean, I think she's overreacting. I mean, I can see her... I mean, she's a sweet little woman here, but she's overreacting. And, so, and went... she's the kind of girl who will never be happy with so, any kind of hairdressers. So I went to beauty school. I went and what they, do you know? They say they taught us that when somebody only doesn't you know if they want one inch off or four inches off, you cut a little bit because you can't glue it back on. Yes, but you can always cut down. more off. <laughs> oh, but you can't. All right, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, ma'am. She said to do whatever with her hair, but what happened to the collar for shirt? She should have taken her shirt off. I, I, mean, I, don't... I actually <laughs> never <laughs> knew that there was color oh, on the no. shirt. Oh, oh, yes, you did. Because when after you took the cut, cape off, you said, "Oh, was it already like that?" Oh yeah, walk around with bug ugly shirt on. Okay, and normally if I have a problem like that, I will have it uh, uh, pay for the shirt, or I will uh, give him a cleaning job. Did you pay for the services, Jules? Yeah, you did. Yeah. How much did it cost you? Either twenty or thirty dollars. I don't remember. I don't even remember. Or just because for both of those. Yeah. It's a very small but town. She didn't like you. It's a very small town. I spent quite a bit of time. I bleached her hair out. I took a lot of time to do that. It wouldn't be quite long enough to listen to what I wanted. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm being told that it's time for audience comment of the day. Let's, let's roll the video and see who won this afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Have any of y'all heard of the rela oh. client relationship? If y'all ain't got none of that, then all of y'all need to move on. So, the customer is always right. Oh, boy, ma'am, it's your lucky day. Look what you want. You want some beautiful flowers? 
Yes. And a lovely trophy. What's your name? Sonia from Brooklyn. Sonia. Sonia. Sonia, have you ever won anything before? No. Thank you very much. How do you feel? Beautiful. Fantastic. Jose Bear, you're the best. Glad to have you here. We'll be right back. The one between you and your hairdresser can turn sour. But before you get too mad, why not just switch to a new hairstylist? Sometimes change can be a good thing. I would like to thank all of my guests for being here today, and most of all, thank you for watching. See you next time.